Hey guys, in this video we will learn how to create a login with Facebook button and just to show you from where I got this functionality um, it's in, uh, I found this repository on GitHub and they have here instructions on how to install it and how to use it and of course we will create a, a simple 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 React app and then we will integrate we will integrate this button in our React.js app so just to get started, let's go on developers.facebook.com slash apps and then from here just hover over my apps and click on create app. And then here let's choose a name and for this app I'm gonna choose let's say um, Facebook React login and then as an email I'm gonna leave this. And let's create app actually something there are certain terms like face or not allow okay so let's just put react login app okay click create app id please complete security check this is the google recapture here click on submit and then from here from this product let's click on set up Facebook login okay click on web I'm using app uh, web in my case and then the site URL I'm gonna add localhost because I'm working on uh, uh, right now on localhost and then click save and then click continue we're not gonna need this stuff from here like the SDK for JavaScript and all this stuff just click next and then on the left side you see on the sidebar uh, under settings let's click on basic settings and then here we have our app ID so let's app uh, let's add an app domain and in my case it's gonna be just localhost And then just click save. Okay, verify our business on Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. Other than that, we don't have to do anything else here. Okay, so this is our app ID. This is what we will need for our uh, for the for, for our React app. And now, in my VS Code, I just installed I just installed my React app by typing in uh, create React app. Facebook hyphen login hyphen react okay and I install it I, I open this folder and then in here we have to install the Facebook uh, package so we go here okay this is the this is the command that npm install react Facebook login so let's do that npm install Facebook react login okay and this is gonna take a while and while it's installing let's I'm gonna add my folder to the VS code okay so I have an error let me install Facebook login complete so I'll probably misspelled something okay react Facebook login sorry about that guys So we have react Facebook login and then here I want to create in my app I want to create another another folder in my source folder and I will name it components and then here I'm gonna create another file which is gonna be Facebook facebook.js and this is gonna be a class so I'm gonna import react react and, com and component from react and 
and then whenever this this is gonna be done we want to import it as well so I will import Facebook login button from react Facebook login okay and then here we'll have export default and this is gonna be let's call it login Facebook and we will so this is gonna extend the component okay Export default. Okay, I forgot to mention the class here. All right. So here we will have our. We will have actually first of all we will have uh, a state. So state. And here we will have off state, which is gonna be false by default. And then here we will have the name, which is empty by default, and the picture. This is, this is what we will use. This is the data we will use from Facebook. And then below here, of course, we have our render function. And then we have a return function. Oops. And then in our... So here in our return function, we will just output the data we get from Facebook. And before we do that, I just wanted to um, I just wanted to let's say in our render function we have a, a variable so it's for let you know let's name it Facebook data and then below we will have so here below we will be using this state. Off. If this is gonna be false, it means the user is not logged in. If if it's true, it means that the user is logged in. So using this state, we can output we can output data. So uh, if the user is not logged in, we want to show the, the Facebook button, which is gonna say login with Facebook. Or if it's not, then we will just output the Facebook data. We'll put data from from Facebook object. Okay, so to do that, we should Type in. I'm, I'm doing it in this way. So this I have this state um, off. So if this state off is true, then here we have we assign to our Facebook data variable a div. So this is gonna be like that. So I'm just gonna leave it div like that, and then here I will have I will have the data from Facebook, and then here okay we have this I don't need this here, and then here otherwise like that we assign to our Facebook data the Facebook login Facebook login button um, component, so we have. Facebook data and we assign to this Facebook data the component from that repository. So if we open this repository here, this is what we want to assign to our variable. So I'm gonna copy it from here and I'll paste it here. Well something like this. And I'm not gonna get the email, so I'll remove it from here. This, this, these are the fields. And of course, we will have to create uh, two other methods, which is gonna be the component click, and that's gonna fire up whenever the, uh, the user is gonna click on this button. And then the callback is gonna fire up, um, and we will be able, so in, the, in this component, we will be able to use the Facebook data and we will get a response. <coughs> Okay, so having this in, in place, like that, and let's see. <coughs> now we want to output this variable, so in our return 
function we want to have a wrapper and here we will output our Facebook data variable okay let's see I'm just gonna put hi for now and let's start our actually there is something else so we, we will get an error if we don't use HTTPS um, because Facebook is gonna is gonna throw an error if we don't use that and in order for our app to use HTTPS let's create let's create in our uh, Facebook login folder in our root folder of our app let's create a new file .env and then in here let's paste HTTPS equal to true save it and I'm gonna save it and close it and then here Let's type in npm start. Hopefully, we won't get any errors because this env file, but we didn't import this Facebook.js component in our app.js yet. So, okay, so this is what it, it redirects us to HTTPS, and then here it's telling that your connection is not private just because we don't have a a valid SSL certificate but it's, you can just click on advanced and then here proceed to localhost and save so in my case it uh, I should do it a couple of times I don't know why but and then we see our app is working so what I want to what we want to do now is just open our app JS and here if you want you can remove this logo I'm just gonna remove it because it bothers me and I'll remove everything I have in my div app class and then here I'm gonna just uh, so I'm just gonna import a Facebook component so import Facebook from and I have here components slash Facebook okay and then in my app CSS in uh, app class here I will have a paragraph and then here I will say let's say Facebook authentication and then below here we want to actually output our Facebook component so we have Facebook like that okay looks good in here we want to do some changes actually let's say Facebook oh, is not defined component click response is not defined in all here so yeah we haven't used Facebook login don't we didn't uh, just because we didn't replace it from here so I'm gonna replace it like that Wait. okay and now we just get this error from these two lines just because we didn't create the component click method and then the response Facebook let's see what happens here so I'm gonna refresh it and of course we get these errors let's let's create them really quick so below our state we will have a component which is not a component method component click And this is gonna say so this is the code we want to uh, execute whenever somebody will click on that login with Facebook button so here I'm gonna let's just console log for now um, Facebook button click and then we will create another one which is the let's say Facebook click or click this is the callback. This is going to be called whenever Facebook is going to send us a response. And here we will have this like that. And this is going to be an ES6. Let's see. Let's check that. Okay, so the response is going to get a response parameter. So we'll have here the response okay like this and then in here let's console 
Let's console log the response. And then we should specify this here because this is a, a class. I have everything in my class. Now let's go back. And for some reason, whenever I save it, like whenever I save it in my VS code and it's using HTTPS, my app um, doesn't reload by itself. So I have to reload it all the time. Okay, so this is what we have here right now on the page. And we have the login with Facebook button. And I just wanted to add some styling in here. So let's open uh, our app CSS file. And then in here, I'm going to remove that. And let's see. I want to make this display table. And then margin, let's say top 100 pixels. And on the side, going to be alpha because I want to center it. And a big background color and then oops and then here i'm gonna add a border one pixel solid i'm just make it black just for the heck of it so i'll save it and then go back and refresh so we have it this way i mean it, it i don't think it looks better than that before but anyway you can add any kind of styling you want here. So, so here right now I'm logged in Facebook. But if I click login with Facebook, app not set up. This app is still development. Okay, so that's because I didn't add this app ID to my React.js app. So in our Facebook JS, wherever we have our app ID, we should replace this ID with our with, with ours. And let's go back and refresh it okay and I'll click login with Facebook now it's it's um, asking us for uh, permission to get the name profile picture and email address uh, even though I didn't indicate email here it's still asking from um, Facebook to get the email address so okay, let's open that up like this I'm gonna continue as Victor and then there's nothing happens in here. Just let's check our console to see what kind of data we get. So we get, actually this is a warning component will receive props. This is a warning from the package, I guess. Because I think this package, I may, I may be wrong guys. If, if I'm wrong, please correct me and leave a comment. Uh, but I think because this package is changing the component will receive props. And that's something that we can really do much about it and then I get this error just because I don't have a valid certificate and then here is you know we see the Facebook button click that's because that component was fired up and then here is the data I get from Facebook which is the you know, user ID and the username I could probably add email if you want you can add email as well I don't really need it well actually this is app ID Let's check that FID 53. No, it's not FID. Uh, okay, that's the user ID. Okay, so we'll get the user ID separate and then the ID too. Both are the same. And then under the picture, we have data. So this is the picture URL. So let's use it. Let's use it now to output the data on our page. I'm going to go back and in my... Okay, in my response Facebook here, wherever we have our console log, I'm gonna do, I, I'm gonna have an if statement. Actually, let's do it first without the if statement. So we want to update the state. So we will have this set state. And here we will assign the data from Facebook to our state. So we'll have, oh, it's gonna be true. And then here, the name is going to be to uh, response.name and then here we will have picture and this is going to be response.picture.data.url okay so let's see 
this is gonna get updated so if this is updated then this is what we will see now on the page so I'll save it let's go back and refresh it so we can see that it tells me hi now because I'm logged in now if I go back and okay let's change this stuff from here Let's see what we want to output the uh, name and the picture so first of all we will output the picture so I have I am image source equal to so I have here this state oops, state dot picture we'll have an alt tag because we're gonna throw an error if we don't have one so I'm gonna put it here let's say, this state name and of course we have to close this tag and then below we will have an h2 tag and here I will output the user I'll say welcome and then the username here this state name I misspell this here. I'll save it now. Let's go back and let's refresh it. So there you go. Actually, could I could add some padding here? I'm gonna add some padding because it looks horrible. Okay, at least we have some padding now. Okay, guys. So. We have this data now. Let me let me do something here really quick. Look, uh, I'm gonna log out from Facebook. All right, I'm just gonna go here. Log out of Facebook. So if I come here and refresh the page, it's gonna log me out, of course. But now if I click on login with Facebook. It prompts me to the login form and if I cancel it, for example, if I close this window and I don't want to log in, it's going to throw an error. It throws this error because our data is undefined, we don't get any data. So this method right here can't update the state because this, this data from here is undefined. So we should put an if statement here just to make sure this error doesn't uh, doesn't pop up like this whenever somebody cancel it and usually we get a response like the status is um, unknown if I'm not mistaken let's check that really quick okay so the status is unknown here so what we want to do here is we will have something like this if response dot status it's different than unknown we want to update the state okay let's save it let's go back and let's refresh it so we have this button now if I click on the login with Facebook button and then I close it that error is not popping up because we have that if statement. Now if I click login and um, and if you log in then everything is gonna work. It's just gonna refresh the page and not refresh the page but the component and it's gonna show your picture and your um, your name. So it's it's um, it's a simple it's a simple tutorial guys but I, I I guess this could help you. I, I think it's gonna help you if you don't know how to use this Facebook uh, login with Facebook button. And here in our component, click this is the this is a um, this is the method where you can process the data after you update the state. So you can you can store it in a local storage where you can you know send it to your database using Firebase or any other database you have APIs and stuff like that. Um, if, you have, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm gonna leave the URL to this repository in the description of the video, so check it out. There's gonna be a source code. Thank you guys for your attention, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.